Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, and today we're going to take a look at the UAP Beacon HD. If this is your first time with us, please hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In the efforts of full disclosure, I'd like to thank Ubiquiti for sending me the Beacon HD free of charge for my review. That being said, I'm not being paid for this content, nor is Ubiquiti editing or approving the content before it's published. All of the opinions and views you hear are that of my own. That being said, let's get over to the computer and get started with today's video. So Ubiquiti has the Beacon HD listed on their website for $129. It's currently selling on Amazon for $131, which is roughly the same price. If you're interested in this item, I'll have an affiliate link down in the video description below. That being said, let's take a closer look at the Beacon HD. As always, Ubiquiti does a really nice job with the packaging. Inside the box, you get the Beacon HD, a quick start guide, and an optional faceplate for the wall outlet. Looking at the Beacon HD, you have the Ubiquiti logo on the front, the reset button is located at the bottom, and there's an LED status light that goes all the way around the perimeter of the unit. On the back of the unit, you can see the US style wall plug, and this is designed to fit right over an existing wall outlet. You just simply plug it in. And as far as size is concerned, it's got a very sleek, small form factor. Look at it in comparison to my iPhone 11. So what is the Unify AP Beacon HD Wi-Fi mesh point? I can tell you it's not a standalone access point. Its intended use is to extend existing Wi-Fi coverage and increase throughput in your home or small office space. It's the perfect add-on to increase Wi-Fi coverage especially in situations where running an ethernet cable to hardwire another access point is virtually impossible. And at the price of $129, it's way more cost effective as well. The feature set includes 802.11 AC Wave 2, 4x4 multi-user MIMO technology, 300 plus megabits per second performance over a wireless hop. The Beacon HD is compatible with an existing Unify AP or wireless network, as well as the Unify Dream Machine. Ubiquity states that the Beacon HD will automatically be discovered for adoption by the Unify controller. Just know that the minimum version required is 5.11.11 .11 or higher. I'm going to put this to the test today to see if I can get it adopted to a DigitalOcean hosted controller. Okay, so I'm in my Unify controller, and this is a hosted controller out on DigitalOcean. I have the Beacon HD plugged into the wall outlet, and as you can see, it has a white status light, and it's ready to be adopted. And if you look here in my device list, you can see the Beacon HD is here, and it's available to be adopted. So, before I adopt it, I just want to point out one thing, right? Here we go. Let's go down to the settings. And under site, you need to make sure that you have enable wireless uplink enabled here in the settings. And then on the neighboring APs, you have to make sure that you have allow meshing. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'll click on my entrance hallway AP and go to the settings tab. And under radios, you can see here that allow meshing from other access points is enabled. If this is not enabled, then the other access points won't hear the beacon being sent out by the Beacon HD. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we'll come on up and we'll click on Adopt. And now you can see it's provisioning. And now you can see that the beacon's been adopted successfully. The status here says connected wireless. So let's click on the config tab and I'm just gonna give it an alias and I'm gonna call it lab beacon HD. 
Okay, so the beacon obtained an IP address from the server. It's got a 97% Wi-Fi experience. It's got five clients. Here's the data going up and down. And you can see here, it does have an upgrade available. So I'm going to go ahead and run the upgrade and I'll be right back as soon as the upgrade is completed. So the lab Beacon HD took about five minutes to complete the upgrade process. You can see we have a 99% Wi-Fi experience. Let's click on it and take a closer look. So we're running 4.3.21.11325 as the firmware. It says the Wi-Fi experience for 2G is 100%. The Wi-Fi experience for 5G is 99%. Here you can see the IP address. Let's go ahead and click on the cog, the settings wheel. It looks like we can control the perimeter LED. So we could use the site settings or turn it on or off manually. You could also choose a color it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Let's look at the radios. So it set everything to auto, I guess, which are the defaults. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Under the wireless land, you can see my SSIDs. Under network, it's set to DHCP. You could set it to a static IP, but we'll just leave it to DHCP for now. You could use band steering. Let's click on wireless uplinks. And you can see here that it attached itself to the entrance hallway. Now that's the closest AP out of the two remaining. And when I say two remaining, if you look up here, I took the frog room, which is the bonus room, that's where the studio and the lab is. I took that offline so that I could test the Beacon HD with connecting to an AP that's a little further away and not right in the same room. So I'm running speed tests and the one on the left is the regular Unify network before I disconnected the UAP AC light from the studio. The one on the right is the Beacon HD connected to the entrance hallway on the first floor. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison. The speeds aren't quite as fast on the Beacon HD, but considering it's a wireless uplink from an AP on the first floor, it is still quite respectable. So who is the Beacon HD for and is it a good value? Well, like I said earlier, its intended use is to extend an existing Wi-Fi network. And at a price point of $129, when you take into consideration the labor cost of running Cat5 or Cat6 cables and mounting an access point is really a good deal. Now, in my opinion, it's always better to hardwire an access point wherever possible. But in instances where that's not possible, the Beacon HD is a great alternative. So if you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you guys for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.